So using a sensors multi-tool here on a Samsung S7, uh, it's a free tool and it has the magnetometer XYZ. And I'm going to look first at this over here, uh, which is an imploded uh, inner sphere. And the, the ma magnetometer uh, is on the other side of uh, the phone. So I'm just going to go up here. Okay, so the, there definitely appears to be some kind of variation there, multi-axis variation. I'm going to rotate that, actually. Okay, so there's an inversion there. It's going down, now it's going back up. I'd like to have this on a Lazy Susan, it would be a little bit easier. Now it's going uh, down a bit, no, oh, is it? That's me moving it. Something a little bit more precise is needed here. It's going down, definitely down there. Now it's going back up. That is on the Z. Okay. So there seems to be some variation as I'm rotating that around. Um, here is a, another thunderstorm generator. Uh, let wait for that to come to steady state. And right, there's a big effect there. And as we come up here, it's inverting. And we come up here, it's got a little blip across the weld point there. So if I'm going back across the weld, the other way across the weld, and then down the other side it's going back down again so there's there's definitely some difference in magnetism here um, now I'm going to do the same thing with this I'm going to hold it roughly in position and I'm going to try and rotate the uh, structure the overall structure okay again I'm not moving my phone but I'm definitely seeing a variation in the magnetic uh, field sensed as best I can. So I'm just going to rotate that across 90 degrees. Was there any difference in the world, the OG world, from the, the old exit hole? I, I don't know, but I, I'm just concerned with the different metals here and any composite. I, what I'm doing right now is I'm looking in between the two welds right, yeah, yeah. at the center of the sphere, and then I'm rotating it 90 degrees. You see it goes one way, and it steadies out, going back the other way. Go back that way. I'm going to do another 90 degrees. Okay, so it's continuing to go down. So, right, I'll hold that there and rotate it 180 degrees. Now I'm going to rotate it 180 degrees back. It almost has two, two little dimples, doesn't it? Like there, go to there 90 degrees, it's flat. Another 90 degrees, it goes back up again. Yeah, okay. So it's at that point, that point. Well, it, uh, I would like to do a, a full 360 degrees rotation. So can, we, hold, um, can we get that so we can spin it around? Yeah. Right. Could you put your, could you hold it like that so yeah. that, yeah, okay, all right. So I'm going to start where we were before. Mm -hmm. Okay. And rotate it. We're going to try and rotate it 180 degrees. Mm -hmm. So it goes down and it steadies. Oh, I'm moving it now. Sorry. Okay. Goes down. Rotate 90 degrees. Keep rotating. Oh. Come back up again. Rotating again. Okay. I think this has to be done in some sort of bearing. <laughs> yeah. But uh, there's definitely something interesting going on. Okay.